My name is Tom Nally and this is video 01 of Liberty Basic CAD. Liberty Basic CAD is a 2D CAD program written in the Liberty Basic programming language. At this time Liberty Basic CAD has 15 drawing tools including three types of construction lines. It also has eight snap modes and five tools to change the view which I don't think you can see at this time. It also has a number of line editing tools such as trim and split but we won't get into those till later. In video 01 I'm going to show you four of the six line drawing tools. The first thing to understand about using Liberty Basic CAD is that it is not a click and drag application. Rather it is a click and click application. This means that in order to draw a line, a rectangle, or a circle, you left click once with the mouse and then left click a second time to complete the drawing operation. Of course, not all operations require two mouse clicks. Some of them require only one, while a few of them require three mouse clicks. But in video 01, we will look at the first four line tools, all of which, which require two mouse clicks. The first line tool is line point to point right here. Click the tool, then move the crosshairs to the drawing area. Left click once to start the line, then move the crosshairs. Notice how Liberty Basic CAD creates a red rubber band line to give you feedback on the position of your line. Left click a second time to complete the line. Let me draw a few extra lines before I go on. The second line drawing tool is the line perpendicular to existing tool. Click the tool button to activate it. Then click on an existing line. In fact the line perpendicular to existing tool really cannot do anything until you have an existing line. Once you've clicked on an existing line, move the crosshairs around to a new position. Note how Liberty Basic CAD provides a rubber band line as you move the crosshairs around. Also that note that no matter where you move the cursor, the rubber band line stays perpendicular to the line that you clicked. Click a second time to complete the perpendicular line. The third line tool is Line Offset from Existing, which is right here. To use this tool, you must have at least one existing line. To clean up the screen a little bit, I'm going to erase all these lines and start anew with a few random lines. To use the tool, click the Line Offset from Existing button, which is this one right here. Then set an offset value in the text box located on the right hand side of the application window. I'm going to move the camera over there so you can see that. I'm going to choose an offset of 5. Then press the Set button. Now I'm going to move the camera back to the drawing area where it was before. Move it a little bit more and I'm almost there. Okay. Line offset. Select an existing line. We're going to select this one and then select the side of the line where you want the new offset line to be positioned. We'll select this side. You see it was moved, it was copied five units to the side where we clicked. I'll repeat this operation several more times so that you will get the idea. Click this line to this side. Same line to this side. Click this line to that side. Same line to this side this line, click to that side. That is the line offset tool right here. 
The last line tool that I will demonstrate is the line parallel to existing tool, which is this one right here. This tool is similar to the line offset, except that you can position the new line under cursor control. Let me start this demonstration by cleaning the deck and drawing a few random lines. To use the line parallel to existing tool, select the tool by clicking the button, that's this button right here, then click on an existing line, then move the crosshairs to a new position in the drawing. Notice how a red parallel line is provided to show the position of the new line. Click the new line to set its final position. Let me demonstrate that a couple more times. Click the line, move the crosshairs, click for a final position. Click the line, move the crosshairs, click for a final position. Click the line, move the crosshairs. This completes video 01 of Liberty Basic CAD. Thanks to the following people, Carl Gundel for Liberty Basic, Alice Watson for Liberty Basic Workshop, Dennis McKinney for J-A-L-B-E, and Microsoft for Windows Paint.